morning, everybody, and welcome back to another shave. Um, so, as you can see, lots of growth. Haven't shaved for a few days. Taking a break from it, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So today is the introduction of the last brush in the in the giveaway. Um, so, without further ado, here it is. It's a black tie synthetic. Now this, though, is the handle. So have a look at that. Well, that's the handle. It's a black tie synthetic um, knot. I haven't used this yet. Um, I, uh, saving it for the video for you guys. So this is one of the two brushes that are being given away. Uh, this is not the giveaway video. This is just me talking about this brush. It is not the giveaway video. So I want to thank uh, I'm gonna get going here. So I'm gonna thank a few of the guys for commenting on my last video. I had asked What do you guys want to see and I got some answers so um, Guys said some straight shaves uh, Which are coming I have razors that are being that have to be honed uh, But once those are done, I will be showing you that also got some uh, shavettes that I'll be using um, one in particular is uh, is this guy. I just got it actually. This guy right here is a Shavette. I just received this. Bought it from Amazon. Got a great deal. So I got that coming to use. But my straights uh, are being honed or have to be honed, aren't being honed yet. So they are coming, that will happen. Um, also, I've decided to comb my hair for this video because I had some complaints. <laughs> Not really. Um, so let's get this rolling. Uh, also, they wanted to, some guys wanted to see more like full shapes, technique, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna do this time. Um, it'll be a longer video. I apologize in advance. Oh, <laughs> completely forgot. I'm lathering him. You guys are thinking now, what the hell soap is he using? Well. Here's what I'm using. Canadian. Claude Pilon is his name. Fellow that founded this company, Maria Victoria. Straight shape shave soap is what I'm using today. And you would think, oh, he's using straight shape shave soap. He should shave with a straight razor. Not happening today, guys. I loaded the shave bed and was going to, but it's hotter than the hubs of hell in this room. And in all honesty, I kind of want to get out of here as soon as I can. <laughs> so, you're just getting a regular shave. So, this soap is a floral, floral scent. Look at the lather. It's just awesome. It really is. Floral scent, it's soap. Very mild. Uh, some of the guys have mentioned, hey, you should tell us what the scent strengths on your soaps are and stuff like that. So, scent strength on this is... Uh, Fairly low, pardon me. Like I said, hot, 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 hot weather. Uh, scent strength for this is about a five or a six, uh, but the scent is a nice and mild scent, so even if it was an eight or a nine, it would still be mild. So it's hard to judge. Like some of these soaps are, aren't overly scented, you know, and if they're not overly scented, the scent strength is, is low. But I think that's what the manufacturers want in some cases. I don't think they want an overpowering scent. You know, this is more of a floral scent and it's meant to be a mild light scent. So it is mild and light and it's floral. Um, very low floral, it's not like rose or anything like that. It's not strong, so it's a nice mild uh, scent. Uh, razor for today, this guy. One of my favorites. One of my favorites, gem blade in there. Um, love this razor. Blade's not new, it's old. It's a made in England, this guy. Um, great razor. Love the handle. One of my favorites. So, oh, here we go. With this. These blades are so sharp. You know, I've got five days on here. And it just goes right through it. Look at that. 
you can see my stubble through the bladder. This just plops right through it, it really does. So, let's talk about the brush. So it's a black tie synthetic, uh, handmade handle by Damien McNeely. Again, Damien, I'm gonna shoot you a Facebook message and talk to you because I don't think you've seen my new videos since they've been out. Uh, black tie synthetic, so in comparison to the, uh, to the other synthetic brush, I used um, it's the knot the, the tips and whatnot are just as soft no question um, however the bristles are a bit more a bit stiffer so it's more backbone to the brush quite a bit actually this soap is awesome by the way you know I've got five days growth I'm using a very aggressive razor this is just slipping over my skin. I don't know if you can tell from my technique. I know I'm, I'm not really talking that much about it. But I'm sure you can tell. I'm not using a lot of pressure at all, actually. You don't use pressure with these razors, especially the single edge. You don't want to. The blade is stiff. Not forgiving. And it's just gliding over my skin. And man, is it cutting that hair. I said two pass shave. I think I mainly know just do one today. It's hot today, it's crazy. We're in the 30 degree range Celsius. And we have been for the last five or six days. It's been crazy hot. I've mentioned it before. If I uh, if I decide to uh, if I do a you know a fairly close shave and I get out there and I start sweating, I get red spots all over the place. My skin gets irritated. All the witch hazel in the world doesn't help that. Uh, so the brush. A uh, bit stiffer, a bit more backbone, but again, that soft tips and the lathers like crazy. Like, you know, I, I did not load this very much. Check this out. Like, it's still full of soap, you know. Uh, and again, I lend a lot of that to the soap. Uh, my friend Claude, Henry Victoria Soaps, if you haven't tried them, go for it. Um, I made the terrible mistake of, I had bought uh, Cognac and Cuban Cigars was the scent that I loved of his. Now, I haven't tried them all. I've smelled Nautilus. I've smelled this one. Um, and of course, Cognac and Cuban Cigars. Cognac and Cuban Cigars is a phenomenal scent. It's amazing. It's just, it's exactly what it smell, what you, you would expect it to smell like. I actually gave it to a friend of mine who got into my shaving and using a DE razor. So I gave him the soap that I had uh, as a gift and he loves it. It's his favorite, you know. He's had it for, for a couple of years now, I think, and he's still going through it. So, you know. If you get a chance, give Henry Victoria a try. Again, you can see how smooth this is. Not sure if I mentioned it in one of my other videos. One comment, one, one subscriber commented and wondered if I'd ever grow a mustache. No. Timing, right? Mustache area is the only one left. You can hear the razor cutting the hair. Trust me when I tell you, it, you can't feel it. I love these gems. This one in particular came from a friend of mine, Chris Anderson in Ottawa. For 
for one of our shave meetups there. There's one pass with the uh, with the SE. Again, gem style blade. Do we need a second pass? If it was date night, sure. In all honesty, I and I you know I don't know about you guys, but I find that if I wait five days or so to shave and I get a good growth on, when I finally shave, I get a really good shave. You know, this is one pass. I had some stubbly here, the chin area. Now yeah, I'm doing second. Let's go. What the hell? We're gonna do two. Let's do two. Besides, then you can see the brush lathering up. Look at this. Look at the lather. Again, one of my favorite manufacturers. Claude, if you're watching or if you do watch, you make a great product. You really do. You know, it, uh, it's a bonus that you're a Canadian, in all honesty, because it wouldn't matter where you're from, I would buy this stuff. It is fan-freaking-tastic. Look at that. And again, I could shave both my legs, not that I'm going to, but I could. And still have some left over, probably shave my chest, but I'm not going to. Because once you start down that path, you know, remember Kramer, mm -hmm. just stay away from that. So, I'm going to do the second pass without you guys. Um, technique with these, it sets up an angle for you. You want to have a bit more of a, you know, you, you get that 15 degree angle with a uh, with a, a DE. You want to be a little less than, you want to be almost more like a straight razor angle with this guy because that blade is so stiff and this is a very aggressive razor. It's the closest thing you're going to get to a straight razor shave. It really is. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go for the second pass and I'll be back shortly after to talk more about the products I used and how they fared. Okay, be right back. Oh, and I'm back. There it is. So, I'm really glad I did the second pass. Nice and smooth. Other people will be impressed. I guarantee it. Uh, they will be. I promise. So, let's talk about this stuff real quick. The black tie synthetic brush. One of you lucky buggers might get this. You know, what the hell? Let's do a giveaway on each one. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give away the regular synthetic and I'm gonna give away the black tie. I don't need them. I uh, I have brushes. I got tons of them. I don't need these. I got all the brushes I love. So let's do one of each. So coming up in the next video, and we'll have a chat about this, you guys are gonna be up for grabs are both of these guys, the black tie and the regular synthetic. Phenomenal handmade handles by my friend Damien McNeely. Knots that I purchased and uh, and did up on these brushes. Um, so they're, these are up for grabs. All you're going to have to do in the next video is wait till the next video. That's all I know about it. So how was that hand that brush? Awesome. If you've used a synthetic brush, it's fantastic. What I love about it is the backbone. You can get in there and dig out and, and load your brush. If you use a uh, now, a Henry Victoria is a soft is a soft cream soap. You can. You can, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, watch. It's a soft cream soap. It's really good stuff. It's phenomenal. And, and it'll last forever. I've, I've had this tub for over a year. And I use it often. So, you know. Um, so there's the, uh, the brush is, has backbone. You can dig into a triple milled soap. Really load your brush really well in about 30 seconds again. I don't think you're going to have to extend that load time with that brush because of how uh, much backbone it has. But again, soft tips, you know, super, super pillowy soft on the top, you know, you know much in it just like this. But again, the backbone, you know, this is a much stiffer backbone brush than this is. So, anyway, you're not going to have a preference. I'm just going to give them to you. Both of these. Only open to subscribers. <laughs> That's right. you got to be a subscriber. So then we're going to get in on it. But next video, we'll talk about that. We'll do a little sit down chat and that's what it's going to be for the next video. It'll be another week or so maybe by the time you get that. Uh, how is everything? Brush was awesome. How's the soap? If you don't have a Henry Victoria product, get some. These soaps are amazing. The lather is phenomenal. Super, super slick. 
wonderful sense. I don't, th if you read all of the sense, absinthe is one I'm really, really interested in. I'm interested in all of them. Absinthe I'm very interested in giving a try um, because the, his products are phenomenal and I can just imagine the scents will be great. Have, knowing Cognac Cubic Cigars, Nautilus, this one, Straight Shave, it's great stuff. Um, the Razor. If you like that feel of using a straight razor, and again, these are not for the novice guys. These are not something you just jump into. You know, I'm sure a few of you are gonna say, well, I just used one and it worked out great. Good for you. Take your time with these. Learn how to use them. They are extremely sharp. The blade does not bend. They are not forgiving at all. Very, very aggressive open comb design. Very aggressive razors. If you're looking for a nice aggressive shave, if you're used to using straight razors, if you do have good technique, go for this. Go for one of these. Give them a try. You know, the, the gem blades look like so. Come like this. Wrapped in cardboard. Stiff top. Give them a try. Certainly not like, not even close to anything to like this. It's just not. This is no brainer razor. You might as well use in a cartridge. It's easy to use. Not the same as a cartridge. Don't get me wrong. This shave's 10 times better. But very much like a cartridge, sets you up. You can't really cut yourself. Very, very low risk. No brainer shave. That guy, not so much. Be careful. Uh, but if you want a super smooth, super close shave and something that'll just rip, like, I say rip, and that's not accurate, that five days of growth, like, no effort. It just goes right through it. Super easy. DEs could do it, but in all honesty, when I have that much growth, I go for that. Or the, uh, or I go for an adjustable set on the highest, the most aggressive razor I have. I set it up on the highest or something like that. You know, I use my Rockwell uh, plate six all the way up to the top. Something like that. So finish off this shave, we're gonna use straight shave, after shave splash. So let's talk about this stuff really, really quickly. What's in here? Denature alcohol, witch hazel, aloe, leaf juice, aloe leaf juice, sorry, uh, dipropylene glycol, hexdroxvalyl urea, perfume, and menthol. Again, the scent is identical. Identical. Does not smell any different than the soap. Mm, it's a nice, mild scent. I skipped the witch hazel. This has witch hazel in it. Mm. Again, it's that nice... Oh, feels good. Mmm. Conditions your skin. It's got the aloe in there that helps helps your skin out. It is really good stuff. The witch hazel helps seal everything up. That alcohol gives that nice snap. And the menthol. Mmm. It's not overly menthol, but it's there. You can feel it, the cooling effect of the menthol on your skin. It's great stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Sorry the video went a little long, but somebody wanted to see some technique, so we threw that in there for you. Um, send strength on the aftershave. A bit more, maybe a 7, 8, something like that. But it's what you want. If you want to have a scent strength a bit higher, you want it on your aftershave so it lasts a little longer on your skin. Uh, again, soap's about a 4 or 5. Got that nice floral scent. It's not overly floral. It's not like you're walking into a, you know, into a garden store, into the flower section where it's just, you know, it's not like an air freshener. It's a nice mild scent. It's on my skin now. It smells fantastic. It's a very reminiscent scent. It's something you... I say reminiscent, it's something that you will smell and you'll recall that smell. You've smelled it somewhere in your life before. That's the kind of smell it is. Very nice, very mild. Thanks a lot for watching, I appreciate it. Look for the next video. That is where we're going to see the giveaway is gonna be the next video. Uh, like, subscribe, subscribe especially. You will not be included in the giveaway if you're not a subscriber. So jump on, subscribe for me, and uh, you'll, be, uh, you'll be one of the lucky guys to get a possible brush. Next video, we'll do that. We'll talk about how we do it. I want you to get in there. And then uh, the next one, we'll do a random number generator to get all your names and, and the lucky people will be drawn. And it's not closed to any in particular area. You're in the States, you get it. You're in Europe, you get it. Where we are, you get it. Trust me, just like, subscribe. You're in for the giveaway. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. Check you on the flip side.